Hello everybody, JP from JP's Aviation here, and welcome back to another video. In January of 2020, the new midsize airplane, otherwise known as the 797 Project, was thrown out by the new Boeing CEO. This was to implement a clean sheet redesign and to divert resources to the then grounded 737 MAX. Boeing also had lost a large part of the midsize market to the A321 XLR. However, there are still airlines that haven't ordered the XLR yet, like Delta, the largest 757 operator and 767 operator in the world. United also doesn't have a clear 767 replacement yet. However, a clean sheet aircraft would cost Boeing billions of dollars and take years until the first aircraft was produced and delivered, and it may be too late by then, losing Boeing a huge part of the market. <laughs> The chances of there being a new midsize airplane are very low for a number of reasons, including 777X delays and huge financial losses, among others. But right now, the talk is about a smaller, clean sheet aircraft, the 797-5X. The original plan was for two variants, the Dash 7X, which would have a capacity of 275 people, and the Dash 6X, with a capacity of 225 people, both being twin aisle aircraft. The 5X would still be a twin aisle aircraft, but would use existing parts to keep production costs low. The smaller variant would better compete with the A321 XLR and be a replacement to the 757-200 and 757-300. However, this makes little sense as almost all 757 operators, with the exception of the largest, Delta and Iceland Air have ordered the A321 XLR. Delta does have the A321neo on order though, which will be used to replace domestic 757s, and Iceland Air does have the 737 MAX. In addition to this, other airlines like Qantas have opted for the A321XLR. The largest proposed variant would be better for 767-300 replacement and 757-300 replacement. There aren't really any aircraft suited to fill this market, as the A330neo and 787 are a tad too large to replace the 767s. If Boeing were to go with this option, they would have to have the aircraft ready before airlines started to look for other 767 replacement options. Boeing could have a considerable amount of orders from airlines like Delta, United, and Iceland Air. <laughs> During development of the 787 Dreamliner, Boeing was working on the 787-3 with a range of between 2,500 and 3,050 miles, holding between 290 and 330 seats, with a smaller wingspan than the other 787s. The smaller wings would let the Dash 3 fit into smaller airports, but at the height of the 787 program delays, Boeing pushed the orders back to prioritize the Dash 8 and the Dash 9. At the end of 2010, Boeing scrapped the Dash 3 in favor of actually fixing the 787 problems. Now that the 787 production line has been up and running for many years now, Boeing could re-release the 787-3 for 767-400 replacement. These aircraft are used on international routes to larger cities, and the rest of the 787 family could do the trick at replacing these just fine. The last option is a re-engined 767 or 757. Boeing originally studied the 767 in 2019 for the cargo market, but it could be used instead of a new mid-size airplane for a 767 replacement using GENX engines. Boeing is still producing the 767 for cargo airlines and the Air Force, so the supply chain is still running, but Boeing would need to redesign some parts of the 767 to have it up to today's standards. Now, this is no easy task. Look at the 777X program and how hard that has been for Boeing. There is still hope but the door is closing on the new midsize airplane every day, with almost all 757 replacements missed and more and more airlines ordering the A321 XLR, it makes no sense to make a smaller NMA. But there's still hope for a 767 replacement, but Boeing needs to act fast to meet the demand, as in a few years the 767s will need urgent replacements. So let me know what you think, will Boeing even make the 797 as the new middle of the market airplane, or will they just wait and use it for the future 737 replacement or whatever aircraft comes next? 
Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the month. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time on JP's Aviation. Goodbye.